Today we're going to play with another cool tribe. This is Sethron and these are the Minotaurs. Sethron is a fantastic commander for a tribal deck. It comes into the battlefield bringing another Minotaur token. We can sink mana into its activated ability to filter through more damage and rewards us with more tokens when we play Minotaurs. Everything you want to see in a tribal commander. Unfortunately, the support for Minotaurs in Arena is really sketchy and we are forced to run a bunch of underpowered Minotaurs to make sense of the deck. Otherwise, our best cards are the three versions of Neheb, with Neheb the Eternal being the best of the three in this deck, Morag for extra combat steps, Uncrop Crusher as a way to push more damage, and Fanatic of Mogis for a sneaky way to close some games. We complete the deck with a bunch of removal spells and the typical good stuff in Rakdos. So let's see if we can win some games and have fun. Go to the games. What's up everyone, welcome back one more time. You know the deal, we play Historic Brawl and today we are playing with Another very cool tribe in Minotaurs. This is Rakdos Sethron. Sethron Harloon General. We are going up against Corval, so yikes. Um, matchmaker, don't you know we are playing a janky tribe? Can you please not put me against Corval? <laughs> uh, disappointing. So, alright, so we are playing with Minotaurs. And the thing about Minotaurs is that as good as it looks and at, as, as fun as it looks, yeah, you have to make this work. It's not like we have too much support for the Minotaurs. But this channel is all about playing with good and fun decks. Not the best, just fun build arounds and fun commanders. And Sathron has to be one of the most fun of them all. We are playing Cold Steel Heart. The opponent already has a Llanowar Elf. So I'm trying to see if we can anger off the gods wherever they put in the battlefield. Opponent on Corval Sacrifice. Yeah, that's really... Looks like they're going to destroy our Cold Steel Heart. Opponent is a genius and has the exact answer for our Mana Rock. And yeah. Already looking a little bit sketchy. Dire Fleet Hoarder. Okay, we can kill that. We can Anger of the God that. Mountain, Anger of the Gods. Get rid of all those things and hope that they miss lands they do not all right black market connections all right so we are mis miserable we are really miserable right now we could go chandra chandra is good right here but doesn't kill corval when he when he hits the battlefield but chandra is a very good play for us we have the adaptive automate automaton for pumping the team Hopefully we can build some Minotaur army with Sethron. Fanatic of Mogis could also be helpful to deal some more damage to them to their face. They're going to start taking a lot of damage from Black Market Connections, so maybe there's there's a world where we can steal a victory. Although they play Vraska, and that's really, really bad for us. That's very bad for us. Vraska is a beast. Already at 8 loyalty. Like, she comes into the battlefield and has so much loyalty so fast. Alright, so. We can play our general here and start the um, Minotaur production. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Anything that we play, they can actually kill with Vraska. So maybe we have to play Sethron plus the Automaton, put some Minotaurs on the battlefield. Oh. I mean, come on, Matchmaker. I'm trying to play for fun here. Why would they give us Corvold? Okay, I'm counting my mana. I have three, four, five, six, and two more for Chandra is eight. So we could go Sethron plus the Automaton. I guess that's the best play we can make. Go Sethron, make a Minotaur. Take up Chandra to six. This gives us three more. This comes in as a Minotaur, giving us another Minotaur. Plus one, plus one to the team. So you can see we are doing cool things, and but this is as good as our deck gets. Uh, opponent can kill something, can kill Sethron. For sure. Maybe they kill the Automaton? No, I don't think they're going to do that. Yeah. Sethron down. They can play Corvold. Oh, 
There it is, there's Corvold, so we now are really, really sad. Black Market Connections is doing a lot of work for them. They are at 13, now they are at 11, so... Could you imagine if we would steal a victory from them? Oh, Fanatic of Mogis, Fatal Push, that's not very good. That is not very good. Alright, so, first order of business, let's kill these Corvolds. They actually have something. Oh, this is... That's unfortunate. Not only Corval survives, but they also win two life. And we're trying to... Steal the victory with Fanatic of Mogus. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what we should be doing right now. I think I have to take up Chandra. See if we find something. There's a brawler. Uh, do I play this? I guess. I guess that puts more devotion into the battlefield for the fanatic of Mogis. Do you see the cards that we are playing? We have to play the Blood Rage Brawler. I mean, it's a two mana four three, two mana five four. We just have to drop a spell, but <laughs> yeah. That's what we're playing with, but when this works, when this works, it's so good. The feeling of winning a game with this deck is so good. Not going to happen too often, but it's so good. Opponent is killing themselves. They are at seven. I mean, okay. we can definitely steal this one. Maybe I didn't have to play the brawler because Chandra dealing two to them was they were going to be at five. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if that comes to comes back to haunt us, because they could be at could have been at five right now. We wouldn't have the brawler. But yeah, their commander does so much. Does so much. Sethron is amazing. I mean, Sethron has the ability to give you multiple creatures, multiple minotaurs, and really go wide and attack for a bunch but Corvold that's much more than that so I don't know what the matchmaking is thinking about like come on really the opponent has a million cards in hand of course they're going to use a dark ritual why not so if win grace and this is over because now they can start winning life so our hopes and dreams of Fanatic of Mogis, them, them out of this game. I have crashed into the desperate and into this desolation. Corval attacks fearlessly into Chandra and destroys her, of course. Ooh. A tough, tough pill to swallow. So, in what world do we... Oh, we had, we had some damages here. Like, if they were at 5 and didn't have the Soul of Wing Grace, then there is a world where we play Fanatic of Mogus, deal 1 to them, 2 from the Colligan's Command, and then we just need them to die to their Black Market Connections. So, it wasn't really stretched. There was a way, a path to victory in this game, but Soul of Wing Grace... Kills that scenario. Bone and deadly disputes. And win some life. Back to 10. And this is pretty over. Once upon a time. Yeah. Here we are back for more Sethron Hurlung General. This is the Minotaurs. This is Rakdos Minotaurs going up against Zur the Eternal Schemer. Esper Enchantments. Opponent goes first. We started with the left foot on this game. And we're trying to 
come back. Trying to come back winning with the Minotaurs. Not an easy task to accomplish, but we will try to make it work. Can play these. Shadow Skull Smashing Tapped. And more mountains. Unfortunate. We would really love to hit another swamp. Could foretell the Haunting Voyage. Haunting Voyage. Cool card to reanimate our Minotaurs should they go to the graveyard. So, one of these haymakers in our deck. Alright, Glindhorn Buccaneer. At least we can cast this, start smashing face with the Minotaur. Opponent goes Omen of the Sea. Okay. So, it really feels like we're playing like fair, fair magic, like just playing some random creatures and opponent picking up apart our creatures rage blood shaman okay 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 so this gives trample and plus one plus one good card very good card for minotaurs although yeah they really require that you have a bunch of minotaurs on the battlefield not good cards on their own Opponent Temples of Enlightenment and another removal spell. Of course, they will have every removal spell in the game. We draw Thoughtseize, not a land. We will check their hand, see how insane it is. Oh, come on. <laughs> let's, let's go to the next game. Ladies and gentlemen, we are trying to win a game of Magic the Gathering with Minotaurs in Historic Brawl, which apparently is the hardest, most difficult thing to do in the entire world. And we are just trying to do that. And now we are playing versus Karn, Living Legacy, and I really like this matchup. I think that the matchmaker is doing us a small favor after some brutal, brutal start. Complete the Castle Embereth tapped. Hoping to get to that Pyre of Heroes could be good. Alright, so Swamp. Do we Faithless Looting? Nah, let's play the Pyre of Heroes. Because then we can Faithless Agent, find another Minotaur, plus start using the Pyre of Heroes. Maybe that's a way in which we get to our most expensive good Minotaurs. Opponent deploying their artifacts. They are on Karn. They are going to just play Affinity. Okay, so we can play the Agent. Try to get another Minotaur. Sure, opponent doing their thing. We find a 5 mana for 2 haste with Enlist. <laughs> oh, thank something I did not mention in this video is that this deck is originally from Luca and I just took it and changed some things that I wanted to try so it's um, it's a different list from from yours Luca but the essence is the same you can even see that I even have the Acromas Memorial that is your beloved Acromas Memorial I had to craft it and I did so let's Infernal Grasp the 4-4 so we can get through with the Faceless Agent and then we can Pyre of Hero the Faceless Agent. So we can go look for a 4-drop. And these are so bad. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, we are going to get the 4-drop because then Pyre of Heroes can go look for a 5-drop. Five, five but we have to go through this one. <laughs> Merciless Javelinier, so we can pay two this card a card, put it minus one minus one counter on something and make it not able to block. Opponent is stuck on land, so <laughs> yes, yes. We might win a game. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh not hitting land, so we will faithless looting here. We need more lands. We need to get to five mana at least. Oh come on. Come on, this is not doing us any favors. But black market connections could be really good. Of course, it's a greasy card. How how couldn't it be good? 
We're going to drop that five drop that it's the worst thing ever. We're going to also draw, uh, drop the signing blood because black market connection is going to be our source of card draw. And yes, let's be dirty players and just fix all our problems and deck building issues by playing a black market connections because that's what that card does. You don't have to have a good deck. You just have to play black market connections and your life will be much, much easier. You see, and you pay just six life and you have everything that you need. You find the lands, you find the creatures, more mana. Just a dirty play. And we have Nihev the Eternal, so we cannot even Pyre of Heroes to find the Nihev Eternal. So let's play Sethron, make a Minotaur, and go to attacks. Well, at last we are doing our thing and we are playing with Minotaurs. An opponent has to do something really crazy, and I don't know in colorless what they could do. I'm not very confident they will have... Yeah, like that, it's good, but it's not going to be enough. Wow, are we winning one game with Zethron? This is so good, because now we can play Niheb and make so much mana. An opponent just concedes to black market connections. Doesn't even care that we are playing Minotaurs, it's just black market freaking connections here we are for another round trying to find black market connections to win games of magic because that's what we need opponent goes first and if you're not going to find black market connections maybe we find another busted alchemy card but that hand did not look really good not going to cash in on bank job and you can see we have a crazy curve here. We can go two drop into three drop into four drop and every Minotaur is better than the Minotaur before. Wow, this tribe needs more support. Wizards of the Coast, dear Wizards of the Coast, instead of charging $1,000 for four packs of random cards, could you please print more Minotaurs? better minotaurs like people would be happier with some of the smallest things that they could do they have to go and piss off everyone by printing unplayable proxies for 1000 and they clearly should be focusing on minotaurs like what are they thinking i see minotaurs and i see a path to increase revenues increase profits and they're just forcing us to play with bad things with bad minotaurs you can see we, we now we have to decide what do we play we can play a glean horn buccaneer then don't get me wrong i love glean horn in the correct in the correct deck but in minotaurs come on opponent plays an oracle of moldaya and that it's better than our entire entire deck Oh, it's so funny. Omnath is crazy. Matchmaker still not doing us any favors. They saw oh, you, they saw us beating Karn, and Matchmaker updates the algorithm and said, "That's OP. Minotaurs should be playing versus Omnath." Opponents, wow! You see, machine for ramp. And Omnath is single-handedly destroying us, drawing million, millions of cards and just being Omnath. We draw Fatal Push. Oh, Fatal Push can destroy Omnath if we lose a permanent here. So maybe, just maybe, we can kill Omnath and that could be an accomplishment on itself. So, let's play the 3-3-4-3. Three, three, three. <laughs> and... Put some boots on, on them. Go to tax. Try to lure Omnath into blocking any of these. Any of these. They don't even bother killing the 3-3. And we will now fatal push Omnath with revolt. Yes, yes. That is an accomplishment. Not really. Uh, 
Oh, they have a Genesis Ultimatum in hand. That is quite the card. But this is what this format is all about. We are playing here, casually playing with Minotaurs, and that should be cool on itself. Like, we just need the algorithm to do its thing and update the algorithm. So maybe now that I am losing so much with this deck, it's going to give the correct data to the algorithm. So when it refreshes, when it trains again, it's going to see, like, come on, I should put Sethron against the bottom of the barrel in Historic Brawl. And then Sethron players will be actually happier because look at our opponents they are doing just busted things like our deck cannot even do a third of what they're doing <laughs> you know, well this is what this channel is all about we will play with everything and anything and we will have some fun but we also concede This will be our last round playing with Sethron, trying to find the black market connections that can lead us to victory. And we will go first versus Toski. This hand is keepable, for sure. Because, um, as I mentioned before, Mulligan, the Mulligan in the last hand in the last game. Backjob is a cool card from Alchemy that can do busted things. So maybe we can do something this turn, this game. Faithless looting, let's see, we can throw away one land and the boots versus mono green shouldn't be so important, so we can throw that as well. Mono green does not... Yeah, oh, 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 now we are winning. Yes, black market, black market connection, there it is, our best card, the best minotaur, black market connections. And yeah, oh no, Outland Liberator destroys our hand. Oh no. Well, luck is something that you require in games of magic. And luck is something that we haven't found throughout throughout this video at all. Like at all. Sometimes I believe I will be very lucky playing magic. But today is like one of these days. Opponent lets the Howland Liberator flip. And now our hand is complete garbage against them. Because they can destroy everything. Well, Chandra. I mean, Chandra kills the Liberator. But that's going to be next turn. So this turn, we cannot play any. I'm going to keep her. Chandra has to be another another great Minotaur in this deck. It's like Chandra is the best Minotaur for this deck. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's go play this Minotaur that has prowess. So we can maybe block. Oh, but they attack and destroy the automaton, and then we cannot block. Well, that's okay. Let's hope that Chandra can destroy the Outland Liberator and then we can liberate our hand because our hand is locked, completely locked because of the, the Liberator. Opponent ramps and well, at least we are going to be able to do this. All right, we are coming back. Four damage to this, destroyed. All right, I like that, like to see that. Maybe, maybe there's a path to victory. Maybe with these alchemy cards that we have in hand. Oh, come on. Defiler of Vigor and an Elvish Mystic to trigger it. Wow. I am feeling really, really bad about this, about this deck, because it's janky for sure, but it should do a little bit better than it's doing. And I don't know what's the next best play. We're going to die to the We're going to die to the defiler. So maybe put black market and another Minotaur. Like Nahab the worthy. 
so sketchy. Maybe we should play bank job, but bank job just finds us more minotaurs. And we have to block somehow. Defiler has trampled, so Chandra is going to go down. There you go. Opponent plays Tusky. So they are potentially going to draw some cards. Oh, in a one mana Galta. Wow. Unfreaking believable. Like that Defiler of Vigor single-handedly destroyed us. Opponent deciding how they want to attack. Alright, I am going to double block this Elvish Mystic. Alright, opponent put some counters on the Mystic. Now their Mystic doesn't die. They draw a card. Chandra survives, but yeah, this is too much. Alright, so... We will pay six life to just put us out of our misery. And it looks like we're going to drop another game. And that's going to be it. And unfortunately, the Minotaurs look like they need a lot more support. So hopefully you see this video and you avoid crafting Minotaurs until they are good someday. And maybe in the future they will be. So, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed these games. Even if we didn't uh, win a lot, I think we just won one match. I think the Minotaur tribe is cool. It's something to pay attention to in the future and maybe we can have a solid and good Minotaur stack uh, after a couple of sets in the future. Although, yeah, that's going to be depending on what type of cards they print and yeah maybe we can take it for a spin in the future if you're not a subscriber please consider subscribing to the channel leaving a like leaving a comment always helps i hope you have a great great day